The red-eyed tree frog lives in the lowlands and rainforest of Central America as far north as Mexico. They were first identified by herpetologist Edward Cope in the 1860s. The most prominent trait in red-eyed tree frogs has to be their appearance. The red-eyed tree frog has big, bright, red eyes and bright lime green body that sometimes has hints of blue and yellow. They have a white belly and they have orange feet. The reason behind all these bright colors is a defense mechanism called startle coloration. This defense mechanism is when an animal has something that is bright colors to startle and momentarily paralyze their predators so the uh, animal can escape. The red-eyed tree frog is born in a similar way to other frogs. The only difference is that the red-eyed tree frog's eggs are planted up high in a tree above the pond while other frogs' eggs are laid in the water. However, while the red-eyed tree frog's eggs are in a tree, they have to deal with snakes attempting to eat them. If the eggs miraculously survive, they will drop into the water once they are ready. However, in the water the tadpoles have to escape quickly or predators in the water will eat them. The tadpoles that get away and survive will eat fruit flies and pinhead crickets and de develop until they are ready to go on land and escape to the trees where they will spend the remainder of their lives. As adults, red-eyed tree frogs still depend on water to keep their skin moist, so they will never venture too far away from a water source. Since they are nocturnal, they spend most of their day sleeping, but during the night they will jump from tree to tree trying to find something to eat. The red-eyed tree frog will primarily eat crickets, flies, grasshoppers, and moths. Sometimes they will eat smaller frogs and tadpoles. During the day, they will have to watch their back because they have plenty of predators such as bats, owls, snakes, tarantulas, toucans, and young alligators. Not only do these frogs have to deal with all these predators, but they also have to deal with the alarming decreasing of their habitat by the rainforest being cut down. These fragile creatures are not endangered, but they will soon be if their habitats continues to be destroyed.